It's Wednesday. That means we get to solve the Wednesday puzzle. And here it is, the Wednesday puzzle. They just call it the crossword, but we know it's the Wednesday crossword. Here we go. Oh, it says that right there, Wednesday. Ha <laughs> ha. It's going to be a good one. I got a good feeling about this. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. Here it is. Uh, Karen Robbins and Matthew Stock are the constructors today. I am Steve. I am the solver today. I try to be the solver every day. Here we go. Woodworker's file is a rasp. Uh, Passover is Pesach. Uh, key card, I don't know. Partner in ooze or oz. Is it that way or is it a a a? Yeah, how do you spell that? Clinton's first appointee would be RBG, so this is probably two A's there. A barn bundle is a bale of hay. What's found under Casper's Christmas tree? Ghost something. Ghost present? Ghost gifts? Uh, Outlander network? I don't know. Is that um, Clee card goes in the slot. What network fits on that? St oh, stars with a Z, right? Uh, boardroom VIPs would be CEOs. It could be like CFOs or something like that. Rule that forbids singing hymns to the devil. Okay, it's all about the occult today. We got the ghost, we got the devil. I don't know. Option on Halloween, treat or trick. Um, pizza offerings with marinara. Oh, calzone. Mmm, calzones. A bit of fantasy sports fodder would be a stat. A, sat a satchel has a strap. Nursing site is the teat where a, a, a young would nurse a baby, whatever, human, uh, calf, uh, let's see, not really used with humans, but calves and sheep and all of them, lambs. Twenty Okay, 29 down out, but that's uh, 29 down is activity for Bill Watterson. Those are our cartoonists. Uh, so this would be cartooning, right? Bill Watterson was um, uh, Calvin Hobbes. Bill Kane was the family circus. Uh, 29 down, oh, it's a strip, it's a comic strip. Okay, slightly is a bit... Uh, crunchy baked snack. I don't know. Indeed, I bet. High point of Exodus with the capital E. Uh, I don't know. Um, let's see. Crunchy baked snack. I still don't know that. Oh, fudge. Drat. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, doctor's concern with a rival clinic. I don't know. Wedding dress fabric satin. That sounds right. Uh, access to the company jet is a perk. Maybe for the CEO in 23 across. Oh, filmmaker, blank, Lily Amirpour, no clue. Rule, no chance, something like that. No, okay. A uh, famed backboard breaking dunker would be Shaquille O'Neal. Catches some Z's is Naps. So it's Anna Lily Amirpour. Okay, we have a new Anna. That's a good one. Uh, new to me, at least. Maybe she's not a new Anna. Landlocked African country is Chad. Lofty beginning, I don't know. What is this? Ghosts, something like that. Okay, watch, man. Hey! Uh, oh, it's ghostly something. Okay, uh, Don R is a Jean Arp. When you know the notes, when you know the notes to sing, you can sing most anything. Uh, glossy finish or a mat. Do mi 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 so so re fa fa la ti ti. Uh, yellow. I don't know, evil woman. I probably do, but I, I'm so I'm hooked on do re mi fa so la ti do. Uh, to sing to flares elan. Um, Landlocked, another landlocked African country, not like Chad is, what has that? Oh, oh Lesotho, or Lesotho, I think is how it's pronounced, I don't know. Word with paper, anyone from there can say, uh, okay. Uh, Al Strebeck always said Lesotho, but he said like he was making a big deal. Okay, Big Poppy is, uh, is David Ortiz. Sudden turns are maybe zigs or maybe zags. One per customer is a limit. Um, part of La La Land, the city or the movie? I never saw the movie. Uh, I heard it's good. I'll put it on the list. Divulged, I don't, uh, said out loud, leaked, I don't know. Eco-friendly is an evite, uh, ghostly, ghostly presence. Instead of presence, it's presence. Okay. Ah, uh, no chance in hell. Ha <laughs> it's, it's homophones. Uh, it's homophones that are about, about the occult. Okay. Um, words of paper, term paper or term insurance. MoMA opened in 1929, so it was Zags. A uh, part of La La Land. Oh, it's Tinseltown. Uh, is that is that a song in La? La Land? It might be. Uh, ooh, NBA Porter, NBA Forward. I don't know your name because I don't watch that much NBA. Uh, I know old NBA, but no, okay. The largest Scottish loch would be Loch Ness. Brillo competition is SOS. Divulged is let on. So apparently, Otto Porter Jr. is the basketball player. Is the Hooper and what was Eve? Eve. Oh, June 18th is the Eve of Juneteenth. Okay, that works. Yeah. A high point? Oh, we still don't know that. Okay. 
Doctor's Concern. Uh, I don't know something. Opponents. Uh, okay. Uh, that's Oscar Egot is is the is the, the all the awards the Emmy the the the, the Grammy the Oscar and the Tony Oh Fudge I don't know did a five k that's ran a race piece for one voice is an aria la 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 turntable speeds are RPMs caving to gravity is saggy oh cartooning not cartoonist it's activity not not uh, not job so saggy as a, as an adjective of little consequence is minor. Not major. Evidence at the robbery crime scene are Prince Prince of Thieves. Ah get it. No, okay, not the prince like the child of the king, that prince with an ed, but prince. Ah, okay. Uh it's gonna take uh take more than that to fool me. Uh nice try. <laughs> Bit of conical shaped candy is a kiss. Well it's a little curvy. It's not really straight conical. But you know. Pester's no end is nags. Um oh losing patience. That's what that is. Losing patience. Or patient. Um, so it's, oh, okay, these are good. Okay. <laughs> Modern wedding might have two grooms. Yes. Dance, dance revolution is maybe it's a spin or a step. Could be a step. Island near the big island would be in, in, in Hawaii, would be Maui. Fwa, uh, gra means fat. It's Fat Tuesday, so it's, it's a step, not a spin. Marty, ah, oh, nice. Um, fat Tuesday. I like that. It's pretty good. Crunchy bake snack is a something chip, it's a pita chip. Um, so I in, indeed is it is not I bet is it is slightly is a tad oh fudge is darn maybe it's dang a oh, high point would be Sinai ah so it's dang okay the large white waiters are egrets oh, okay here we go did in slew a dragon domesticated is tame and billiards ricochet is a carom yeah do, 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 do. Ah, okay um so that was fun uh and the theme we have. This is, it's not all about uh, the occult. It's just the first two were, but the second two were not. But in every case, we are taking the, the s sound, or the, the ns sound, N-C-E, E-N-C-E. Like there's a phrase, if there's a ghostly presence, like I feel there's something eerie near me. I sense a ghostly presence, and that would be presence, P-R-E-S-E-N-C-E. -E. But when you say that out loud, presence, it sounds very, very, very similar as if you were to say the word present. If I'm not enunciating clearly and I say ghostly present, I'm probably not going to pronounce that T. So ghostly presence, as written, sounds a lot like ghostly presence, which is what the which is the phrase. Um, so then they take the the word ghostly presence and a clue for that, which makes it pretty, pretty good. So Casper the Friendly Ghost would receive presents, so they would be ghostly presents. Instead of no chance, again, put a C-E right there, no chance. There's no chance in hell, that's a phrase. But if you if you say it differently, no chance in hell, that would be the, ru the rule that says you're not allowed to sing hymns to the devil. I don't know, singing hymns and chanting, not exactly the same, um, but I, I will get that, uh, you know. Maybe in the, in the hell baseball game, they're like, let's go, Satan. Let's go, Satan. That would be like a chant um, instead of singing a hymn. But I don't know if they if they sing that. Maybe they have an organist in hell. Uh, they have organists in heaven, right? They have harps and stuff. Maybe they have. I don't know. All right. Uh, 47 across. So, again, we put a C-E here, losing patience. That's a phrase, right? Oh, I'm losing my patience with you, Ari. I've never said that ever. Um, but if we pronounce it differently, losing patience, that's what if a doctor has a clinic next door, they may take our business away. Um, yes. And finally, uh, this one in the first word. So again, if we take that T-S and we take it and turn it into a C-E, uh, it turns into Prince of Thieves. So in every case, the letters T-S, T-S, T-S. Yeah, if we make the T-S into a C-E, it's not just the sound. It actually works well with the words. So the Prince of Thieves. What even is that? It's a phrase. I don't know what it means. Um, but these would be the Prince of Thieves. So very, very good. Um, all right, I have to point out, this is a bit of like crossword-y challenge. Um, this section right in here. So, so indeed... I said, I bet, and that doesn't really work, right? Because indeed is like a positive thing, and I bet is like you're challenging somebody. So I realize that one's a little bit off, but that one fit, and slightly, it could be a tad, or it could be a bit, right? 
And then, oh, fudge could be drat or it could be dang. Um, there, this was like a whole lot of, of things. These, these two could have gone either way. Uh, I need sort of the crossing of the crossing. Um, in retrospect, the high point of Exodus would be, yes, would be Mount Sinai. Uh, in the Exodus story, uh, Moses goes to the top of Mount Sinai and receives the laws from God, receives the Ten Commandments, comes back down and, and uh, gets mad and breaks them and then goes back up again. But that's so it's a high, it's a mountain. So that, that makes sense. Um, so we have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of Exodus uh, mini theme here. Uh, we have the Hebrew word for Passover, uh, so they're in the same same uh, sense. And you know what? Um, they they uh, ate manna in the desert, but they might have also eaten pita chips because they're delicious uh, if they were around. So I'm not sure if that's true or not. Um, but anyhow, was there was there was new. So there's a new Anna uh, lately. Anna de Armas has been the from from Knives Out has been the go-to Anna. Um, and there's other other people named Anna, but I've never heard of Anna Lily or Anna Lily Amirpour, so I'm going to look you up. Uh, and I've never heard of I've heard of David Ortiz. He's well, pretty well known. Um, Chad could be clued as a person. Who's not clever having Chad landlocked African country right next to Lesotho landlocked African country. Relatively speaking, those are their uh, to each other. We'll sit a lot further south than than Chad, so they could have put that one down here. But still, pretty good. This is not a map of Africa; it's a crossword puzzle. Um, let's see. I haven't had calzone in a while. I don't. I don't have the same appetite I did when I was a younger man. Um, not to say that I don't eat, just that I don't eat calzones. Um, I mean, it's just like this giant filling of cheese, right? It's like a big puffed up pita. Filled, filled, filled with cheese. Uh, it's delicious, but I mean, oh my goodness. Oh, uh, la, 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 la. Oh, this, this one, Otto Porter Jr. Are you around now? Um, so, got to look you up. Got to look up Anna Lily Amirpour. Perhaps you've made a movie that uh, is worth watching. Um, Tinseltown is supposed to be, or uh, uh, La La Land is supposed to be really, really good. Um, so... So, not going to look that one up, uh, but it is it is on my radar. So, there we go. All right. I never get this. Ah, uh, to me, ah, uh, is like the, you're following the, so, ah. Uh, so, I want to make that A-H-H. And I think it, the crossword is, at least the New York Times crossword, is pretty consistent that A-H-H is ah, and A-A-H is ah. I think that's come up before. I think I've complained about it or talked about it in the video. I probably have. Sorry. Um, that's one of those that I always have doubts about, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Um, oh, we have two large, classic, um, telegenic athletes, like icons of the 1990s, 2000s era, right? Shaq and Big Poppy, David, David Ortiz and Shaquille O'Neal. Those are, those are pretty big deals, uh, as far as athletes go. Um, but I don't know about this dude, Otto Porter Jr. So, all right, here we go. Let's zoom out. Let's take a look. Otto Porter Jr., where do you rank among the autos in this? Ottoman Empire, Otto Insurance, Otto Warmbier, a man called Otto. You are not, okay, Otto, what's your name? Otto Porter Jr., you're not in the top 10 autos, sorry. How do you rank among Otto P's? Oh, wait. Oh, that just changed. Oh, and I put the, the space. All right, so you're not among the top 10 autos if we allow for the Ottoman Empire and Ottomans and footstools. But if we put a space there, then you jump in to the list. So you are the number seven uh, auto. Okay, here we go. Otto Porter Jr., let's look you up. You play for the Raptors. You're around now. You're from St. Louis. Scott County Central High School. That's that's not in St. Louis. Okay. Um, went to Georgetown. Go Hoyas. You've done quite well for yourself. Congratulations, young man. Um, oh, he's 30, I guess. Oh, congratulations, sir. I, young man, not really 30. Yeah, somebody, he's currently, oh, Sykes in Missouri. I guess that's in Missouri. All right. All right. He plays for the Raptors, small forward. He looks like... I've never seen him before. I don't think he looks like anybody. I would... Wait. It says Raptors. 
And that says Bulls. I guess you can you can change teams. Right. Okay. Um, all right. So Otto Porter Jr., uh, good luck to you in your uh, in your uh, continued athletic endeavors. Uh, who is it, Anna? Anna or Anna? Uh, Lily Amirpour. I'm guessing you're the number one Anna Lily, but I'm, I don't know where you rank among the Annas. So Anna. You're the top one, top Anna Lee. Yeah, so this is the uh, the Anna. Anna, it says Anna Lee. Okay, American. Oh, you totally look like someone. Oh, who do you look like? No. In this picture, she looks a little bit like Ghislaine Maxwell. The David Epstein's uh, whatever uh, assistant. In this picture, she doesn't look at all like her. And maybe it's the hair or the lighting or something. No, but in these others, she does. Yeah, it's, it's this, it's that, that. I think it's the hair that's getting me. Um, okay, so what's your deal? Uh, Indiana University Cinema, uh, NYDN. I don't know what even that means. Um, American filmmaker, screenwriter, and actress of Iranian descent. Best known for a feature. Film debut, A Girl Walks Home at... I'm familiar with The Twilight Zone. I did not see this most recent iteration of The Twilight Zone. These others I have never heard of. Let's go to your wig. Born in England. San Francisco State, UCLA. The first Iranian vampire spaghetti western. Wow. Born in England, moved to Miami, settled in California, went to high school, studied bio at UC Santa Barbara. Not too shabby to get in there, but then it wasn't for you. Went to painting and sculpting. I'm going to art school. And then screenwriting. I've been making films since you was 12. That's pretty good. And you went with your, your love, and now you're a pretty big deal that you've, you've uh, made these. 30% hearing loss. She writes all of her scripts in Las Vegas. Interesting. Her love for film came about when she moved to the U.S. with her family in the 1980s. She speaks about the culture shock I can only imagine when she experienced uh, and her connection. I got hooked on them. It's how I assimilated. I became American through American pop culture. Madonna, Michael Jackson. Huh. And now she is in the arts. She is the culture. Um, feature film. I don't know any of these. Cliffhanger, wait. Oh, wait, to be announced. So that's, I guess I haven't seen that one. Um, yeah. She would have directed. Yeah, that was a Stallone movie. Okay, wait. Okay. She would have directed a female led reboot of Cliffhanger. That sounds pretty cool. Jason Momoa, principal actor, but by May of this year, it was officially recorded. It will be redeveloped as a legacy sequel, I guess, instead of a reboot. Rick Roman Wall replaced Amir Poor as director. Sly returned to reprise his role. Oh, so he's like, it's like like the Rocky movies where like he takes on the the new uh, new young apprentice or whatever protege. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's it. Anything else? So you're clearly a uh, a successful, pretty big name that. I, I don't know if you are new this uh, to the Crosser Puzzle, but you're new to me in the Crosser Puzzle. So congratulations to you, Anna Lily Amirpour. Uh, anything else? Anything else? I don't think there is. I think we got it all. I think we got it all. Um, so a nice little, little pronunciation-based uh, theme there. Uh, some good stuff in the fill. I had fun, which is the most important thing. Not just that I had fun, but that you had fun as well. So I hope you did. I hope you enjoyed watching. hope you enjoyed solving if you are solving these puzzles. Uh, that's great. If you're solving other puzzles, that's also great. If you're doing something else because that's what you enjoy, that's also great. Because you don't have to have fun my way. You have fun your way. Uh, but we're watching. The, we're doing these videos. I'm making them, having them fun. You're watching them, having fun. I plan to have another one tomorrow. Uh, and if you subscribe, 
then you'll get the notification and then you won't miss it. So go ahead, just click that subscribe button. Hey, if you like this video, thanks for all the likes. Feel free, you got a comment, got something to say. I want to hear it. I really do. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and for being on this long. I appreciate it. I will see you in the future. Bye-bye.